What's up guys, it's Alex here and welcome to the review for the Pocophone F2 Pro's cameras. In this video, I'll talk about its cameras, what it brings, you know, what it has and stuff like that. I'm going to show you guys some pictures that I did take outside, you know, uh, showing all the different colors. And the AK camera, you know, the 64 megapixel camera, the 5 megapixel camera, the 13, and the 2 megapixel camera. But yeah, without further ado, let's get on into the video. Now, first camera, of course, you have the 64 megapixel camera. Now, I'm pretty sure the 64 megapixel camera can shoot at 8K videos. Um, and I did take some pretty good 8K videos with the front, uh, you know, selfie camera as well. But I'm pretty sure that wasn't, you know, full 8K. And now, I don't know how this video will come out with the render because I do render my videos at 1080 by, I think, 2400 pixels. So it would look around, you know, like that and not, you know, 8K how it's supposed to be. But yeah, this is basically the 8K camera. Now let me show you guys what the 8K camera looked like. Alright guys, this is the 8K camera for the Pocophone F2 Pro. This is so you guys get an understanding of, of course, what it looks like. Now keep in mind that I am recording or rendering this video at 1920 by 1080 pixels. So just keep that in mind, uh, you know, before you say that this is, you know, of course, lower quality than 8K. Um, this is so you guys get just an understanding, of course, what the, you know, 8K camera does look like. Or, you know, what it will look like. Now if you're running a mobile, it may be a little bit, you know, of course, lower quality than then after the AK camera, you have the 5 megapixel telephoto macro. Now the AK, well the 64 megapixel camera was a wide lens. So I don't know how much you guys saw that wide lens, but it was a 64 megapixel wide lens. Then you have the 5 megapixel telephoto macro camera. And then, you know, I didn't really take the, get the chance to take any pictures with the telephoto macro uh, camera, but you know, I mean, I guess I tried, but you know, it does look pretty good. If you want to see some telephoto macro pictures, you know, you always have Google if you want to look it up for yourself and stuff like that to look up what basically a telephoto macro camera, you know, looks like. Um, because I don't really know how to activate it. But then after you do use that telephoto 5 megapixel telephoto macro camera, then you have a 13 megapixel ultra wide lens, which I which I did get to test out, and this is also pretty good looking. I want to see better than an 8K, but then again, I render my videos lower than 8K, so it would definitely look different. But yeah, this is pretty much for the 13 megapixel 8. Well, the 13 megapixel ultra wide cam. Alright, guys. So this is the ultra wide sensor. You guys can see the field of view definitely a lot larger than the uh, wide sensor um, as you can see right there show you guys I'm not moving my position whatsoever right there but yeah now we're gonna go on into the uh, depth sensor so you guys can see the field of view on that phone so you guys can see right here definitely a lot bigger and it's maintaining its quality of the camera as well then after you you guys just saw 13 megapixel that the 13 megapixel ultra wide camera then you have the 2 megapixel depth sensor now if i was you i wouldn't really use a depth sensor but that's only so you can get i guess some, you know some close slash depth in field you know what i mean I ultimate zoom but it's only 2 megapixels so the camera overall won't turn out to be looking that good Alright guys, so this is pretty much the depth sensor. Basically, the depth sensor just takes some pretty close-up shots. Um, now, again, I said in my video that, you know, it's again 2 megapixels, so the shots won't be coming out, you know, looking like 1080p. So, you do have to keep in mind that, you know, they, of course, don't look that good or that well. So, again, remember, you you do, uh, if you're going to use its 2 megapixel sensor, just remember that it's 2 megapixels. And that, you know, of course, it won't render at a good quality. If you do really do want to take some good look, pic good looking pictures with this phone, you might want to use a 64 megapixel camera because once you use that third lens, which is the depth sensor lens, then you you basically have two megapixel pictures looking like. So yeah, that's you know another you know big difference with the cameras as well. But then after you tested out all those cameras, you then you have the motorized pop up camera. Now I feel that this motorized pop up camera could be a little bit better, but since it's motorized pop up, they couldn't really make it that big they had to make it enough the size to make it fit with the phone so it not like the one plus seven pro you know those have pop-up cameras as well now this phone could have amazing cameras it just that they wanted to make the screen bigger so now 100 screen you know you have basically 
no borders, you know, no hole punch in the display for the camera like the Samsung uh, phones, like the S20 Ultra, A51, A71. So if this phone, I'm pretty sure if this phone didn't have a pop-up camera, I'm pretty sure the camera, they would have made it, the camera quality a little bit better. But, you know, that's just my opinion. Now, this motorized pop-up camera is a 20 megapixel wide camera. So... Um, again, I also took good looking pictures with this one and I, you know, also shot a video, uh, and the stabilize, you know, feature, and I'm not pretty sure it has it, but, you know, I was also running with this camera to see if it would, you know, move, like, if the camera will get stabilized if I was running. Because some people, when they video chat and they use, you know, their uh, selfie camera, or, you know, talk to their friends doing a video chat and they're walking around, the camera could really shake a lot, and I don't know if that's just me, but it bothers me a lot, because, when I'm talking with my friends through like uh, Discord video chat and stuff like that, or you know other apps like Instagram and stuff like that, um, when I'm talking to them, uh, their camera really wobbles a lot. Now I don't know if that's just like you know the stabilization, uh, if it's not good enough. But yeah, now let's show you guys that 20 megapixel pop-up camera. What is up guys? We are El Presente Tech right here. We're testing the front of the camera for the Poco f2 pro as you can see i want to show you guys uh some you know colors and stuff like that with you know the flowers are in my neighborhood around here as you can see right there for you the flowers you can definitely see that the pink color variation is definitely picking up pretty well in my opinion as you can see right there now um as you guys can see uh it looks pretty good i'm not gonna lie right there it doesn't look all that bad i want to test the camera and stabilization because you guys know that this camera is public camera so it doesn't you know have that stabilization like most other phones do where they have it in the front so i'm walking and it's keeping it pretty straight as you guys can see but yeah you guys definitely can see how different it is from many other phones one of the best cameras i've seen and not to remember that the back camera can also shoot at 8k but yeah, that was pretty much it for this review. Honestly, I really, really enjoyed these cameras. Again, I 100% recommend getting this Pocophone F2 Pro, only 500 bucks. You know, it does have basically the best deal you can get. One of the widest screens, you know, one of the, well, not biggest batteries, but you know, it's up there with some of the flagship phones. You know, you have some of the best cameras, the 8K camera, which you have to pay for a $1,000 phone to get an actual 8K camera, which is the S20 Ultra. And this one just features it and it's worth like like half the price so I definitely recommend getting this phone it is pretty good you know if you don't you know if you don't mind some drawbacks with the modized pop camera um, again I said it could be better it could be around 32 megapixel camera a 32 megapixel camera if it wasn't pop-up but that's just at least in my opinion you know if you guys have your own opinion you can definitely leave it down in the comments I would definitely like to know but yeah that was pretty much it for this video hope you guys really enjoyed stay tuned for a game test uh, a game test separate video where I'll be uh, talking about the uh, Snapdragon that this phone has and the Adrenal uh, 640 that this phone has as well and see how fast you know it actually goes I'll be playing Fortnite because in the last review and comparison I didn't play Fortnite I played um, Call of Duty Mobile but in this one I'll be playing Call of Duty Mobile uh, uh, Fortnite and some other games like Free Fire and stuff like that, but and then I'll be adding them to the video to see how well this phone runs with those games. But yeah, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.